Welcome to MyPatchLink.com's video series on allergic contact dermatitis. In the short video you are about to watch, you will learn about your allergy and where to go for additional information. Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Zyrus and I am going to teach you about your patch test results. Your results indicate that you have a contact allergy to formaldehyde, a commonly used preservative in personal care products like shampoo, moisturizers, and hairstyling products. If you haven't already, I suggest watching the video titled Allergic Contact Dermatitis. Simply put, having allergic contact dermatitis means that your immune system has started to react to a particular substance, in your case formaldehyde, and this may cause your skin to react when exposed to formaldehyde and related preservatives. Typical symptoms of the reaction may include severe itching, redness, swelling, flaking, and peeling. Some patients may even experience fluid-filled blisters. What is this substance? Formaldehyde and formaldehyde releasing agents are preservatives that may be found in products you use every day, such as cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, moisturizers, and lotions, and even clothing, cigarette smoke, or car exhaust fumes can subject you to formaldehyde. How do you avoid it? If you suffer from an allergy to formaldehyde, it means that your skin will react to personal care products that contain formaldehyde-related preservatives, such as cosmetics, soaps, and shampoos. Essentially, any liquid product might contain a formaldehyde-related ingredient. Fortunately, they must be listed in the ingredient list on the product package. Unfortunately, you will almost never see formaldehyde listed as an ingredient in a product. Instead, you will find preservatives related to formaldehyde that you must avoid. Common ones include quaternium-15, DMDM hydantoin, imidazolidineal urea, and diazolidineal urea. In addition, rare patients who are allergic to formaldehyde need to avoid permanent press, wrinkle-resistant, and polyester cotton blend clothing. Ask your doctor if you might be one of these rare patients. But even if you aren't, still be sure to wash new clothing and bedding several times in hot water before use just to be on the safe side and help prevent possible problems. And tell your physician, dentist, and hairdresser that you are allergic to formaldehyde and ask them to use preparations that do not contain it. If your rash is on your hands, you may need to carry your own soap with you so you can avoid using soaps in public restrooms that may have formaldehyde-related preservatives in them. This is a common exposure to formaldehyde that is forgotten about by many patients and doctors. Another exposure to formaldehyde that is often overlooked is dish soap. Many of them contain formaldehyde, so if you must wash dishes, be sure to wear waterproof gloves. Dishes that were washed in one of these soaps are safe for you to use after they have been rinsed and allowed to dry. Although you've been diagnosed with a contact allergy to formaldehyde, it is important to remember that it is manageable. Thank you, and I wish you success in managing your allergy. As with all medical conditions, if you believe you are suffering from allergic contact dermatitis, please contact your healthcare provider. Additional resources and information are available to you at mypatchlink.com resources.